semi-finals in the women's 100 meters. Best for border, always out so quickly. Kambunji not too bad and now getting into a running and these two begin to separate themselves. Ashley Nelson back in about fifth or sixth at the moment. Kambunji coming through to take it comfortably, quickly, 11.05. Nobody as quick as Dan Onita in that first semi-final. Kambunji herself didn't get out of the blocks really well. What do you think? She's one of the fastest all time over that 60 meters. An incredible indoor performance. But once she gets going here again, I think she's looking very relaxed and dangerous. And if we're talking about an athlete who could do a double, we look at Dina Smith, look at a double here, but don't look too far away from this one either. She's capable. Set. Smith in the black center of picture to see how that hamstring holds up. Has made a good start. Really, really good Ben runner, as is Kambunji coming through on the inside. But uh, here comes Gabby Thomas. Thomas coming through. Kambunji is holding her form well, but Thomas is just going to be pipped on the line. 22.06. Kambunji coming through impressively from lane three. Kambunji has registered a huge personal best there. Just waiting for the time to come up. Oh, she's had a brilliant year, hasn't she? Made the final in both the 100 and the 200 meters in Tokyo. Good start as ever from the Swiss athlete and in lane three, she's already up on the rest of the field and when she comes in the home straight, she's probably gonna have a couple of meters lead. Going well is Sevilla, but look at this, Kambunji away and gone, and she can win this as she likes. I'm going to get Colin to look at her arm action, because it's something of one or two of us have been noticing. She just checked back a little bit there, 22.77. So a nice run from Kambunji. No surprises there, Sevilla on a good day. away very quickly so too can Bunchy. Williams has already made on the stagger of Oppon Kilba Sinsker on her outside and Williams the Briton is absolutely flying around the bend. She's still being chased hard by Kambunji and now Kambunji starting to overhaul her on the inside, Pada having the race of her lifetime but it's Kambunji who overhauls Williams in the final 20 meters to take the victory for Switzerland, 22-72 unofficially. And there we can see Jody Williams with a fantastic bend there, looking really strong. We already saw that from her in the heat. Kambunji are behind her on the inside, as you said. The French woman had a great run as well. But there it still looks as if Jody Williams has it. But Kambunji, as you said, the 60 and 100 meter specialist with a fantastic second part of that 200 meter race really pulling away there from Williams who actually recently ran a pretty Lange gehalten in den Blöcken und es ist Kambunji mit einem Superstart. Absolut. Geraldine Frey, die wird geschlagen und es ist auch Ayla Del Ponte, die noch kommt und sie gewinnt oh. in 10, 89. Oh. 10, 89 für Mushinga Kambunji. Wenn die Zeit bestätigt wird, dann ist es ein neuer Schweizer Rekord. Mushinga Kambunji mit 10. So, final action of the night. Burkhardt, Kadari, Kambunji. Clover, Asher Smith, cast off, Grebo, and Jody Williams on the outside. The final of the women's 200 meters. So Asher Smith 
in the centre, the defending champion. What kind of shape is she in? Struggled with Gramp in the 100 metres and pulled up, but going well so far. Campucci in the red of Switzerland trying to challenge now with Williams and others well back. The battle though, Campucci against Asher Smith. Switzerland just leading. Is Asher Smith going to come through? No, Campucci is the European 200 metre champion. What a performance from someone who really, eight years ago in Zurich, became a big name and her performances on the world stage have got better and better and now she has the gold medal she craves the one she was so close to getting in the 100 final making amends as she breaks out into a smile 22 32 to beat dina rasha smith and uh, stop the britain from getting three consecutive European titles in a row. That's some performance from Kambunji. And look at that. A sprint medal from Denmark is super impressive from Karstoff just beating there Jody Williams of Britain. It's a really quick start. Briscoe going well. spavona has got a little bit of ground to make up. It's very, very close. And it's Kambunji on the near side. Six point nine five. and the semi-finals but on the near side whilst everybody was watching the battle between the American and the pole Kambunji came through from lane 8 and upgrades bronze four years ago to gold here in Serbia well what a what a year for Majinga Kambunji taking the world indoor title over 60 meters in Belgrade in March and now standing on top of Europe as far as the 200 meters is concerned. Yeah, and I think she's a better athlete than many people would give her credit for. She's a, another to have completed the set of European medals now. Silver in the 100, as we said, and then the bronze in 2016 in Amsterdam for the world indoor 60 meter champion earlier this year. So uh, capping off a great year.